Hello, welcome to this session. Last time we had a very special guest. She was a teenager who asked one of the questions that teenagers ask. And the question was, why don't parents like talking to their children about sex? Today, we have another very special guest. She is a teenage mom and she's going to share her experience <coughs> as a teenage mom. Welcome. Thank you. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Princess Ilana. I'm from Greenland Group of Schools. I'm in Form 3. I'm 18 years old. All right. Thank you. <coughs> Such a wonderful name, Princess Diana. Thank you. All right. So you're a teenage mom? Yeah. At what age did you realize you were pregnant? Uh, I was 14 years old. Oh, 14 years old in standard eight. Yeah. So, how did you realize you were pregnant? I used to, each time we get out of classes, I'll go straight to the dorms and sleep. So, one day the teacher called me and asked me why, why, I, why am I sleeping? And she told me to lift up my shirt so that she can check on me. Alright, so the teacher realized there was some abnormal behavior yeah. you are always sleeping and when she checked she realized you were pregnant yeah. so did that shock you yeah right. what did you decide to do immediately after that okay, the first thing that came into my mind was to commit suicide you actually thought of committing suicide yeah. but thank god you are here you didn't commit suicide yeah. so how did you change that decision? Okay, the teacher, that teacher talked to me and told me that it is not the way to go about things. Okay, you'd like to identify the name of the teacher? Yeah. Okay, who is Mrs. she? Mrs. Lingala. Oh, Mrs. Lingala. Thank God for Mrs. Lingala. She saved your life. So she talked to you yeah. and you are able to change your mind. Yeah. Okay, did you continue with your class until you the time of giving birth yeah okay so what questions were going through your mind immediately after you realized you were pregnant the question that i have is why do teen moms suffer more than teen dads okay so you feel according to your experience you have suffered more than the father of your child yeah okay that is a very critical question that most teenage moms ask and that question has been answered in the book that we have written known as the wise so the question you are asking is why do teenage moms suffer more than the teenage dads as you have just told us you got pregnant at the age of 14 years meaning your body was still developing the reproductive system was still developing then at that point you get pregnant before it is actually mature so that meant that the entire period was going to be uncomfortable because the organs were not ready to receive a baby at that time the other thing is like you have been asked saying is that you are wondering about what others would say when you become pregnant of course your body changes and people can notice that you are pregnant so there are two very important points that we need to, to note the teenage mom first the reproductive system is not ready therefore the body is in shock it's getting a baby the body has to prepare for a baby while it was not ready the second one is that people can notice the changes in your body and therefore they, are, they know they are pre pregnant but for the boy his body does not change he is yeah. not becoming pregnant he is not accommodating the child and he can continue with the, his education. He doesn't have to stop and go to the hospital to give back and come back. 
Secondly, no one can see that he's pregnant. Therefore, his life continues as normal. So that is why teenage girls who become pregnant suffer more than teenage boys who make them pregnant. But there are many more reasons that are answered in this book known as the wise. Therefore, parents, our teenage boys and girls have serious questions which we need to answer. Princess Diana is here in the school supported by well wishes. So if you'd like to support her, to support her child and to support her education, you can pay the donations through the school and the details are given here. So Princess Diana, we wish you all the best in your studies and all the best to your child. And we look forward to another session where we'll interview more guests who will ask us some of the questions that teenagers ask. Thank you and God bless you.